Mm. We know it's going to be a very cold <laughs> Thanksgiving, but even after that, even worse. It's going to be tough coming the day after Thanksgiving, Black Friday, the weekend highs in the single digits, cold turkey for sure, like this one here, Turkey Bell in New England. Love it. Love the artwork there. Meanwhile, radar and satellite clouds increasing back through Montana, but the best news of all for this entire holiday week a lack of any real travel troubles a bit different toward Colorado here in the next few days, but not the northern plains here. Despite a work a weaking a weak system moving through the area here for tomorrow night into Wednesday morning, but that'll provide a swath of snow, but that's it. We're just looking at this cold definitely taking hold and it's going to be with us for a long time to come. Tonight, we're looking at near zero degree temperatures across the north. At least the wind's not terribly strong, but it just takes the slightest breeze to put those wind chills down around 10 below zero. Mostly cloudy. Start things off here for Tuesday. It, you just look at this and you think, man, this is right into mid-January, and here it is not even Thanksgiving yet. Temps again near zero degrees for the morning. At least single digits, either above or below zero. Mostly cloudy, but dry. And then we see that weak wave moving through Montana into northwest. North Dakota by mid afternoon tomorrow, and it's this one that's going to move down toward the southeast and again provide a swath of mainly light snow. Don't look for a big warm up tomorrow. Temps are only going to be in the teens and 20s after single digits in the morning. So, looking at that snow probability again in the blue shade, that gives us at least an inch here, most less than two inches, but we're looking at one to two as a possibility in northwest North Dakota through Minot, Bismarck, Mandan, roughly an inch or so. I I think even less back toward Dickinson in that gray or white shade, meaning less than an inch of snow all the way down toward Bowman. But it looks like a fair bet that most areas will have at least a dusting's worth and it's not going to melt anytime soon. Look out. We're looking at Thanksgiving Day highs here only in the single digits across the north. As mentioned for Williston and Minot, it'll be the likely the coldest Thanksgiving since 1985, 14 in Bismarck and in Dickinson. All right, tonight. Plenty of cold here. We got three below zero for Minot, five in the Bismarck Mandan area, Dickinson, right around one degree. So again, singles either above or below zero. Nice recovery for some, like in Baker, right? We've got 36 degrees. So most of us not above freezing, but getting close in the southwest corner of the Peace Garden State, even Hedinger 29, but 17 in the depths of that chill farther north here. Devils Lake 17, 21 in Grand Forks. Seven day forecast. And again, that winter like chill. I got to say winter like because we have over a month ago, uh, roughly a month ago before winter actually arrives here, but temperatures will be rather cold. Low to mid 20s here for tomorrow and Wednesday. Best chances for snow, providing that swath uh, likely tomorrow night into Wednesday morning. Just cold, maybe a flurry Thanksgiving Day morning. Single digit highs on Friday. That'll be the coldest for most, but really not much better in time for the weekend coming up. But notice all that negativity at night. Lows below zero every night starting with Friday morning, Thanksgiving night, Friday morning, going to be cold. Snowbirds might be taking mm. off early. Yeah, they might be indeed. <laughs> <laughs>